Hello everyone, my name is Madrader DXA UK and I want to welcome you to this uh, video where I'm comparing this TEF6686 uh, um, desktop radio on the FM band versus my Sony Hi-Fi FM uh, tuner. Now, I got this uh, TEF6686 desktop radio to replace that uh, Sony FM tuner because I knew that um, the bandwidth uh, filters on this TEF6686 would be better and that means I can get more stations right um, on a crowded band versus my uh, Sony FM uh, tuner. So I already had a play with it anyway um, and I can tell you outright if you don't want to see the rest of the video this radio the TEF6686 desktop wins outright okay but for those interested we're going to be doing a comparison on crowded parts of the band of this TEF EF6686 radio versus my Sony FM uh, Hi-Fi tuner and by the way the Sony FM Hi-Fi tuner that's here um, it's the uh, Sony uh, ST SB920 um, the QS uh, version but this here has been modified um, this such uh, uh, Sony tuner um, the stock uh, bandwidth filters have been have been replaced with uh, narrow runs uh, narrow ones rather um, and it wasn't done by me it was done by somebody from the Skywaves DX group who I bought this uh, radio off okay so like I said we're doing a comparison and let's begin <laughs> Insured and 100% free, and will make these bin strikes. There are places around that city that have had their bins uncollected for seven weeks, eight weeks now. Absolute tip. And text gold to double six triple seven, or visit text gold. This is why this has happened. On a romantic hot air balloon ride near Marrakesh.
Okay then, so that was a comparison between my TEF6686 desktop radio versus my Sony tuner, the uh, STSB920 uh, with uh, modified uh, bandwidth filters, narrower ones than the stock ones. And yeah, obviously this TEF6686 a desktop radio it won outright because it has tighter narrower and narrower bandwidth uh, filters um, they're dynamic as well the setting i had this on you can have it on the fixed uh, bandwidth filter but i had it on the automatic one or the dynamic one and i recommend that one because this radio does a fantastic job of uh, you know in, uh, minimizing interference on you know a, a crowded uh, frequency so uh, overall very pleased with this uh, tef6686 uh, desktop again this one outright in this battle it will be uh, replacing my sony uh, tuner here which i feel very sorry to um you know to get rid of or rather to put away to remove from my hi-fi unit i won't be throwing it away i'll be putting it to uh, one side but yeah, all I can say is thank you very much to the person I bought this from, from the Skyways, D, uh, Skyways DX group. I got it for a very cheap price, including postage and packing uh, from, him, uh, from him. And by the way, I've spoken to him recently and I told him what I was going to do. I was going to get this and replace it um, and replace my Sony Hi-Fi uh, tuner the, uh, for, for the FM band, the uh, Sony STSB920. And I told him, he says, look, you know, I'm going to replace it. I'll, you know, I feel bad about it. And he said, you know, well, don't be because I've got three of these uh, TEF6686 radios. And I think he mentioned as well that he's got um, this one too, um, the uh, desktop uh, version. And why not? Because they're excellent radios and I highly recommend them for, um, F you know, for FMDXing, whether uh, at home or even um, portable as well by buying the uh, portable um, versions. So there we are. Uh, this battle is done and yes uh, from now on you'll be seeing this TF6686 desktop radio on my hi-fi unit on uh, future videos when I'm doing FMDXing at home. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in another video.